Day 15, the lion's den. Daily devotional. We sometimes think that if we're doing it God's way, we'll never get in trouble or difficult situations. Wrong. Daniel was a powerful man of fasting and prayer, committed to God to the extreme. Yet today you'll read that his enemies set him up to be destroyed by the very thing that set him apart, his devotion to God. Daniel was doing it right, serving God with everything he had, and it landed him in the lion's den. Shouldn't God have stopped that? If God was really with Daniel, don't you think he could have kept those jokers from nearly killing his boy Daniel? you think that if anyone would be spared troubles, it'd be someone who prayed like Daniel, right? But that's not the narrative of the book of Daniel, or often of our lives. Daniel had his best chance to represent God, not by dodging an appointment with the lion's den, but instead by getting dropped right smack dab in the middle of it. What would happen if we shifted our energy and prayers from asking God to help us avoid problems to showing his greatness right in the middle of them? After all, that's what he does again and again in the book of Daniel. God shows up and the most powerful kings in the world find themselves humbled by his power to save. Jesus told us, in this world, you will have trouble, but take heart. I have overcome the world. John 16, We're going to face lions. That's certain. The question is, what will you do about it? Will you doubt God's goodness because you're in a difficult spot? Or will you pray for an opportunity for him to show up in the middle of your trouble? God wants prayer to become your steering wheel, not your spare tire. If you've been treating prayer like the last resort instead of your primary option, I urge you to start praying like Daniel today, humbly, specifically, and persistently, in advance, during, and after. Don't just ask him to keep you from having troubles. Ask him to wow the crowd when you walk out of the lion's den and give him the glory. Then the king arose very early in the morning and went in haste unto the den of lions. And when he came to the den, he cried with a lamentable voice unto Daniel. And the king spake and said to Daniel, O Daniel, servant of the living God, is thy God whom thou servest continually? Able to deliver thee from the lions? Then said Daniel unto the king, O king, live forever. My God hath sent his angel, and hath shut the lions' mouths, that they have not hurt me. For as much as before him innocency was found in me, and also before thee, O king, have I done no hurt. Then was the king exceeding glad for him, and commanded that they should take Daniel up out of the den. So Daniel was taken up out of the den, and no manner of hurt was found upon him, because he believed in his God. And the king commanded, and they brought those men which had accused Daniel, and they cast them into the den of lions, them, their children, and their wives. And the lions had the mastery of them, and break all their bones in pieces, or ever they came at the bottom of the den. These things I have spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace. In the world ye shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world.